Hi, my name is Dale Sparling. I'm an applications engineer at NXP Semiconductor. Today, I'm going to talk to you about debugging your applications using LPC Expresso board. So this is, a, this is an LPC Expresso board. This side of the board is the debugger side, and this is the target board. If you want to use the debugger side to debug a different target board, you need to uh, disconnect it from this side, either by cutting the traces or by cutting the board completely. If you want to continue to debug this target board, but also use the debugger to debug other target boards, the best way to do this is to cut the traces. I have an example here where I positioned a header over the cut traces so that all I have to do is put the jumpers back on to continue debugging the target. So another option you have is to cut the board into two pieces. And I have the JTAG portion here. This is the edge that I cut it, and as you can see, this is the, there's a line on this side of the board that you can cut right down the trace. And in this case, I used a standard office paper cutter to cut this board. Here we have an LPC link connected to a development board. You would connect a USB cable plugged into your PC into this socket here, and that would be communicating with your LPC Expresso debugger and the uh, ribbon cable connecting the, uh, the debug pins here to, to the header here on the board. If your board has a 20-pin JTAG connector, you can use the LPC Link debugger in conjunction with the Embedded Artist 10 to 20-pin adapter board. It's available at their website. So that's how you debug your applications using an LPC Expresso board. Please visit these websites on your screen for more information. And thank you for watching.